Hi friends, happy Tuesday. Welcome back to my channel. Hey lovey sabbies, welcome to the heart. <laughs> wow. <laughs> welcome to the Sally Hearts Jack 80 show. It's already starting off crazy here. <laughs> I don't know how I forget the name of my own show when I've been saying it forever. <laughs> okay, for five years. But how are you guys doing? I hope you are doing well and you're having a terrific Tuesday. So on today's show, I'm going to share with you another exciting She-Ra and the Princesses of Power doll review. This series is really, really good. I love it. Some things I don't love about it, but some things I do. I'm kind of in the middle, but it is a good show. And one of my fabulous, dear YouTube friends, Sydney Bo, who I could not find forever and still can't find, it's insane how this guy, you know, you just can't find him at Target. It's crazy. <laughs> but here he is, Bo in his adorable outfit. There he is in his animated form. There's the back of the box. Super cool. There's Bo again. And then it lists the other uh, dolls in the series you can get. I reviewed all of them. I won't be getting this set here because I kind of don't like it. Um, it is the Battle Armor, She-Ra, and Swift win. I just don't think I'm going to get it. I might get it, but I don't know if I'm going to get it. So stay tuned. <laughs> so on the back, it says, Bo is a master archer and a best friend. Super smart and charming, Bo is as skilled with a bow and arrow as he is with technology. He is driven by loyalty and honor. His powers are he's a master archer, he's an inventor, and he's a tech guru. So he's pretty, pretty cool. And I like Bo in this series. He's very, very nice. He's very, very positive, And he's always there to help uh, Glimmer and Adora. And he's just like a huge cheerleader, which is great. Everybody needs one of those in their life. And this is made by Mattel. He's fully posable. And it is also uh, made by DreamWorks. And it is a Netflix original series. So let me pop him open. Oh, finally, Bo. Bo, you're here. Let me cut his ties off. Hopefully, I don't cut his bow off of him. Because I kind of like how he's posed with it. Let's see. Oh, he just slipped out. There he is. Bo in all his fabulous glory. I love the anime style of the face. It's really, really cool. That's part of the reason why I love the show is I like the kind of anime mix to it. And Bo is wearing the outfit that he has on the show. He has his little uh, vest on, his t-shirt underneath, and then his shiny bluish purple pants that he wears. And then there are his boots. I love that he could stand on his own which is nice. Let me take his shoes off. I want to see, oh, there's his boots that are slit in the back so you can pull them on and off. I want to see Bo's feet. Bo, pop out of here. So there's his foot. Ah, cool. And he has articulation at the ankle, which is super, super nice. I love my dolls to be articulated. I don't know if you guys know that yet. I'm sure you do because I say it all the time. <laughs> I'm just a huge fan of being able to pose my dolls since, you know, I have furniture and all that stuff for them. And, you know, it's just cool. It makes them more, I don't know, playable. And then he has on his cuff right there. It does come off. You could pull his cuff off. And then his arrow is right there. It's attached. His bow and arrow are attached to his leg with this little elastic here. I'm not going to pull it off because I like the way that it's posed. And um, it's adorable. His armor comes off as well. And then his hair is really cool. It's painted all the way around the side. And then on top, it's real. And it's fluffy. And it's so nice and soft. I love it. Super, super cool. And Bo does sit down. <laughs> I'm going to try not to break this thing. And he does bend at the knee, which is really, really great. I love that Mattel made these dolls super, super posable. Um, can you do this for Barbie? <laughs> I think I'm always going to bring up the point that Barbie <laughs> needs to be articulated for the rest of my life. Um, and he is also posable at the, um, at the shoulder, at the elbow, and his wrist is articulated as well. So it's really, really nice. His head turns. So you could put him in some serious action poses from the show if you choose to. And um, 
You could probably dress him in other kin clothes. He looks he looks really cool. He's a great addition to uh, your male fashion doll collection. Some people only collect male fashion dolls, so he's really, really nice to add to your collection because he's super, super different. And he is really, really adorable. He could be a brother in the family. If you have, you know, Barbie doll families, which I try to make because they're so cute. Um, and he's just really, really cool to have in your she collection. I like that they included Bo with the rest of the girls because it's always nice to have a new boy doll out. And um, it makes a great, you know, it's a great thing you know boys and girls could uh battle uh evil villains together and come out victorious <laughs> so i do do love Bo, and he has the sweetest little smile on his face look at that adorable let's see how tall he is with compared to a kin doll kin where are you oh here you are let me ha have him for a minute barb so there he is. See, he's he's a good size. He's a little bit shorter than Ken. This Ken needs his hair done. And he, like, they could be hanging out. They could be brothers. Hey, little bro. Hi. See, super, super cute. Could change his outfit completely. Probably fit him in some, you know, new Barbie clothes. Because he does have a thinner torso and a smaller body than Ken. He's just um tall, so... It might work. Okay, Barbie, let me give you your kin back. Okay. I put these two together. Aren't they adorable? Oh, look at them. They are going for a walk on the beach. Oh, I forgot her purse. Hold on. I know this is about Bo, but um, look at them. Aren't they adorbs? So cute. Anyway, back to Bo. So I'm so happy that I have Bo. And I thank you so much to my conundrum for gifting me this guy. Thank you so much for sending him to me. You are so super sweet. And without you, I wouldn't have him in my collection because I can't find him anywhere in California. Or either that or he's just not available. Or you only they only give one in a box and everybody's looking for him. So he gets bought before I could find him. But I cannot find him. He is a mystery. <laughs> so I'm glad I finally have him in my collection. And I'm happy I got to share him with you guys. I don't know. Do any of you have Netflix? Do you like the new she show? Or do you prefer the old one? I, of course, prefer the 1980s version. Because that's the one I grew up with. And the one I watched. Um, and I absolutely love it. But I think this one, this version on its own, is also good. I, I kind of don't compare both of them too much because I kind of think they're each their own thing but um yeah so definitely let me know in the comments down below do you guys watch it do you collect these dolls how do you feel about them and um yeah let me know <laughs> so there you guys go that is my Tuesday show this has been a review of She-Ra and the Princesses of Power bow doll and you could find him at Target if you could find it. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed today's show. Remember to love your family, love your friends, but most importantly, love yourself. Be kind, stay positive, and until we meet again in this fabulous <gasps> bow world, <laughs> you guys have a magical day, and I will see you tomorrow for a Wednesday show. Bye-bye, guys.